I want to get into a little bit about the psyche of the brain. The brain is a very complex organ. I mean, it takes a lot of oxygen only if you use it. If you walk around in a daze, it hardly takes any oxygen. When you use it, it takes a lot of oxygen. In other words, stressing consumes a lot of the brain. Fretting, stressing, worrying, anxiety, all that takes a lot of oxygen, takes a lot of energy. So if you were to spend all day talking and doing things of that nature, uh, let's say during work or during a meeting or just where you have to talk a lot, even if it's enjoyable, even if it's, it's laughter, even if it's entertainment, by the end of the day, you would be drained. You would be drained. The same as if you had exercised all day. The brain requires just as much, if not more, oxygen, which is blood, than the major body parts, arms, legs, and chest that you do exercise. What's the point of all this? Yeah, there is a point. Don't, don't get anxious. Don't, don't get anxiety. Uh, don't make it where you can't understand. The point is, the less you fret, and I know that's easier said than done. The less you fret, the less you need to fret. That's right. Think about it. The more you fret, the more you have to fret. The less you do it, the less you need to do it. You give yourself more energy. Don't put as much stress on your heart. Uh, the body is a very complex machine. Uh, doctors, you know, they try to uh, act like they got some magic trick or something that they learn in medical school. It ain't nothing like that. God put this thing together, and he put it together where it works in sequence. One thing affects another thing. And a very minute details, very small details can affect it. Uh, if you take aspirin for your headache, anything over 100 milligrams, if you have a low blood pressure, will cause a hematoma if you bump your arm or your knee. If you bump your head, you'll cause an aneurysm. Something that simple. What I want to try to do, and what, what is one key to success with muscle building and fitness, is to let the conscious, the subconscious do the work. The subconscious is much more fine-tuned. If you look at, example, people that are driving and texting, yeah, sure they're weaving, but they are actually better drivers when they are texting and not using their conscious to drive, using their subconscious, doing it without thinking about it. Your subconscious does things without thinking about it. And when that happens, it's on a memory. It's, it's on, it doesn't need you to think about it. Because when you think about it, you fire in the wrong nerves. You don't get it done right. Anything. Your subconscious does a much better job than your conscious, and it takes a lot less oxygen. It takes barely any oxygen to rub your, run your subconscious. It won't elevate your heart rate, which is very important. I know a lot of people are like, what the hell is he talking about? They'd rather me make jokes and laugh and talk trash, talk shit about my haters. My haters, they got enough shit talking, and they're afraid of me. They don't want to piss me off. They don't want me to block them because they want knowledge. They're tired of watching calisthenics, a bunch of BS, a bunch of nothing, a bunch of repetitive garbage. Okay, yeah, you got a couple of muscles, but hey, say something different or shut your pie hole. It's all good, though. Haters, I am mad at you, and I ain't your type. But I bet I'm your bitch type. Peace. Reese, I'll see you soon, baby.